cold therapy good for your gut biome or not? Let's find out. Hi guys, and welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. As always, shout out to my research team for putting this all together. Now this week's subject is a little bit interesting because there is a lot of data on both sides saying that yes, it's good. No, it's not good. Um, and so it was an interesting one to look into. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, before we go too far into the studies, I do want to point out the studies against cold therapy assisting with gut biome were done on mice. There is no study that we found that was done on humans. The first study that we looked at came from the National Library of Medicine that said acute cold water immersion restraint stress induces intestinal injury and reduces the diversity of gut microbiome in mice. So growing evidence has suggested that stress triggers gastrointestinal disorders. This study aimed to investigate how the acute cold water immersion restraint stress affects intestinal injury and gut microbiome. So again, they did use mice for this study. They were testing for acute CWIR stress. They used a couple of different ways to measure it, but what they ended up determining was that CWIR increases intestine, which is cold water immersion, increases intestinal inflammation and intestinal mucosal permeability. So basically what they found was that, yes, the gut was affected and permeability, also known as leaky gut, was a symptom. They also did find that the small intestinal tissue was affected by cold therapy. Coastal analysis of the gut biome did show diversity, indicating a clear variety in the intestinal flora from the control group and the test group. A quick plot map revealed an obvious separation between the two groups, confirming that the composition of the fecal microbiota differed after cold water immersion. Essentially, it showed that overall, the treatment significantly reduced the overall bacterial richness in the gut. The second test, also on mice, was designed to look into inflammatory bowel disease. Excessive consumption of cold beverages is especially common among modern humans. However, whether cold stress contributes directly to the gut barrier and gut brain access is not clear. Therefore, they developed this experiment to try to test it. They conducted a cold stress model induced by cold water. Mice were treated with 14 consecutive days of intergastric cold or common water administration, where changes in the gut transit and gut barrier in the colon were observed. They also employed RNA sequencing-based transcriptal analysis to identify the genes potentially driving gut injury and simultaneously examined the gut microbiota and microbolites in the feces. The result was that they found cold stress disturbed the intestinal function and increased gut permeability. A set of core genes related to immune response were consistently overexpressed in the cold stress group. Additionally, cold stress induced increased bacterial diversity, ecological network, and increased pathogens, mainly belonging to the proteobacteria. So basically what this study was saying is that uh, cold stress could trigger an IBD-like phenotype in mice, implying that cold stress is a possible risk factor for IBD development. So what this could also mean is that if you already have IBD, it might be made worse initially by cold therapy. The last one we looked at seems a little bit more allegorical, but it came from megaphonefunctionalhealth.com. And it was talking about the five benefits of cold plunging for gut health. Their argument is that inflammation in the gut can lead to various digestive disorders and compromise overall gut health. Cold plunge therapy has demonstrated anti-inflammatory effects, helping to alleviate gut inflammation. Cold exposure triggers vasoconstriction, reducing blood flow and the release of inflammatory mediators. This constriction of blood vessels can help mitigate inflammation in the gut, providing relief for individuals with inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. A couple other things that this one claimed was that it could enhance digestive function, nutrient absorption, and boost immune function, strengthened gut-brain connection and mental well-being, improves detoxification and long-term disease prevention, and promotes the gut barrier function. Now, again, this one did not have any links to any actual scientific studies or articles. So I'm not really sure where they got their information from. The last one that we looked at came from bodyandsoul.com.au. This one specifically talks about how cold showers can help your digestion. However, a lot of what it talked about was stimulating the vagal tone. So essentially what they are claiming is that by activating the vagus uh, nerve, which we've talked about in previous videos, it can help with your bacteria in your stomach. However, again, this one does not appear to have any uh, other studies linked to it. So it seems to be that there are more studies proving that cold therapy can cause IBD than uh, there are that can cure IBD. Um, however, that doesn't necessarily mean one is right and one is wrong. Now, from an allegorical standpoint, I know many people with IBD who do cold plunging who have not had any issues. Uh, but again, that is allegorical versus actual science. I think we need to see more studies about what the actual effect on the colon and on the gut biome is from a cold uh, water standpoint 
and we need to have it on humans versus mice. So that is it, guys. I'm curious to know if you've done cold therapy and had any stomach issues or if it's made your stomach issues uh, better. Let me know in the comments. I'm doing a case study right now with a friend who is uh, going through that exact theme, which is what brought about this video. Uh, but I'm just kind of curious if anybody else has any experience with that. Also, if there's any particular physical ailment that you want me to deep dive into with cold therapy, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to look into it and do a video. And of course, guys, always be safe when you're practicing cold therapy and happy plunging. Thank you.